come to the park. As if walking resorted strength, Chris looks as cheerful as always. Well, as you wish, Shiki, I'll talk about whatever you want. I don't know where her previous weakness went, but she looks really haughty all of a sudden. Then I'll ask, but just what was that guy earlier? You said he was a vampire. Was he what you were after? No, he certainly is part of my target, but putting the dead back in the grave isn't my goal. I only got him because he was a minion of my enemy. If I left him alone, he would kill more people to increase his power. Marguerite, um, could you explain so I can understand? I don't even know if that guy was even human or not. Oh, I guess I never really did explain to you in detail about vampires. Nero was sort of an operation amongst the vampire race, so I didn't really need to explain it at the time. What is a normal vampire then? What I mean is, what you all think of vampires, immortal, never aging, sucking human blood, turning the human into a vampire, being destroyed by sunlight, all of that. My enemy is that old type of vampire. So, you mean this enemy of yours? Is the one behind all the recent serial killings? I suppose. But the killing of all those people by sucking their blood? Might be the work of the dead. Like the one you saw earlier. Vicky. Remember how Nero's body was made of all those familiars, right? Yeah, that's not exactly something I can easily forget. The dead. I like that, when humans have their blood sucked by a vampire, I can also receive some of the vampire's blood. They die, but remain in this world as a servant of the vampire. They are called the dead, and they are like the vampire's familiars. Now, maybe it's easier to understand if I use the word zombie. It's closer to the wooden belief in Haiti, where the white servant god Gambala is a vote to control a dead body. But let's just say a dead body that moves is a zombie, okay? Yeah, I can visualize it better that way. I get it, so that man was killed by a vampire, uses him as a zombie. Yes, yes. Margaret melts happily. I'm so confused though. Why would a vampire do that? Killing people? Not letting them die but controlling them? What bad taste. You're right. Those vampires do have bad taste. But that's something only the dead apostles do. Those that were always vampires from the very beginning, don't they do such things? Always vampires from the very beginning? I remember, you said there's two types of vampires, those who were vampires originally, and those who were humans. When I heard that before, it kind of stuck in my head, I thought this was a little odd. So, what exactly do you mean by those who weren't originally vampires? Simple, I'm just saying that dead apostles used to be humans. They either gained immortality through magic, or became servants of the true ancestors that sucked their blood. Chiki, you said it was best days to use killed humans 
I guess just the least of it. There are other vampires. Think of of worse games. Game. What is that? You guys go for fun. Use the dead bodies as toys. I won't deny that. For vampires, amusement is the very same as breathing. For those who are once human but gain imperfect immortality, my greatest enemy is boredom. I didn't have a reason to become immortal to start with, and once they gained immortality, they lost all kinds of greed. Their goal was immortality itself, I guess that's just the way things are. They're bored, so they want to play? Don't be ridiculous. Isn't it enough that they won't age or die? Do they really need something else? That's what I said. They got everything they wanted. After that, there's no meaning to existence. As soon as someone realizes they have no value, that their life is stopped, then the meaning of existence disappears too. Immortality is also another word for death. So they started to wear down and started to create their own amusement, as if to tell themselves they could have fun as long as they lived. That's their beginning. They copy humans and see themselves in a game as lords of a castle, defending their territory. I guess. You could call it Country of the Dead. It seems they got more enjoyment out of that than they expected. She speaks as if she was talking to other people or, or other people. Magwit should be one of those, but she certainly doesn't seem like she has that sort of hobby. Well, we'll change the topic, but the dead apostles were originally human. There are a few cases where they became vampires through their own magical research, but the majority of them were humans who had the blood sucked. They are immortal, but they can last forever. They can only be immortal as they drink the blood of others. Didn't I say their immortality was imperfect? As they can't feed on humans, then their immortality is gone. Wait a minute, isn't that odd? In order to become immortal, they drink the blood of humans, but does that mean new dead apostles will be born every time they do that? That's true, but things got complex from here. The people who have the blood sex die, but at that time, as the dead apostles place a little of their blood inside the corpse, the body cannot die. Those bodies that were unable to die stay a number of years in the grave. And when the brain decays and the soul is fixated in the body, they become a flesh eating corpse. Ooh. Only one out of every hundred people have this potential, so not everyone gets to stay. Well, there are those that have natural ability to step up this progress and become a vampire immediately, but this is so rare that it's out of the question. So, the dead bodies that became ghouls ate the flesh of other corpses in order to sustain their decayed body parts. After restoring their body fully, they can become zombies 
Members of the class of living corpses? The living dead? Hmm. Oh, these living dead. Is that the dead from before? Not at all. The dead are just puppets. Living dead are much weaker than the dead. But they are members of the vampire race for the will of their own. They are on a different level than those manipulated dead. After many years, once a living dead is able to restore its intelligence, it will become a vampire. That's probably about one of every 10,000 who have this ability. I kind of want to bet that Cheeky is one of them. I said it before, but the more potential you have, the higher the success rate to stay. I call the dead apostles the ones that make all these kinds of vampires. And that's still a lot. If this game goes on, then won't the world be overflowing with vampires eventually? Not necessarily. The apostles usually get killed by the new vampires they created. Didn't I say it before? They act like humans. For their own enjoyment, they place their own blood inside the, inside the humans they preyed upon. These corpses go through the one out of tens of thousands raid, they become vampires and, and eventually kill their parent vampires, becoming a dead apostle themselves. Like knights becoming lords through strength of arms and killing the king, they can only survive by playing those sorts of games. Yeah. I don't really understand why, but I guess that stops them from dying of boredom. Because that's like Game of Thrones. The limbs of existence goes to a devil, I suppose. Even if they are immortal, they can't hold onto their meaning for existence. It is an empty immortality. Akwit remarks how silly it is as she slumps his shoulders. See, then. That dead that you killed earlier does something like a soldier of the dead apostles. Not so much a soldier as a puppet. The dead apostles control the dead bodies by skipping the process of becoming a vampire. The dead are completely connected to the parent vampire in order, in order for them to survive. They take others to eat their flesh. But more than half of that energy goes to the master. Like a queen bee nourished by the worker bees, the dead apostles can use the dead to increase their power while they sleep. My enemy can be found easily because he's using a lot of the dead. When he did his hands once. After that, he simply controls the dead while he sleeps and expands his territory. There's so many bodies are found in the recent supposed serial killings. But those are actually just failures. To tell the truth, there are over a hundred victims in the city. So how come that nobody actually notices all these people disappearing? But only a small amount, the ones discovered are the victims in the news. 
Over a hundred? There are that many that had their blood sucked? And all of those people sucked the blood of others to make them into monsters like themselves? Like that wandering lifeless thing earlier? That's ridiculous. Three days ago, I remember how all those people in the hotel were killed for no reason. I was there but didn't see it. So I can only visualize and can't really tell what kind of violence it was. It's still the same. I can't fathom the existence of vampires that suck human blood. Just to increase their own territory. Just without reason, without even recognition, if someone close to me died like that, how would I react? I don't want to imagine it, but just a bit. I imagine Akia being drained of blood and discarded like trash. What makes me mad is that this worst case scenario could happen at any minute in this town. I didn't even have a clue about it before. You, you will be angry, Shiki. Didn't want to talk about it. Because for the prey, for you guys, this is an inexcusable evil. People like you, the actions of vampires are inexcusable. Right? That's just also ridiculous. Even if it's people I don't know about, they have their past and even their dreams they hoped for. And I don't want to be killed just for the fun of it. That's just too regretful. It's too meaningless. That's all just so... So regretful, isn't it? That's right. All those people were killed by Nero in the midst of fear and chaos. Were the last thoughts full of regretful sadness? Night at the park. The girl who was killed by Nero when she passed by the park by sheer coincidence. She didn't even realize when she died. That's meaninglessness. The roughness of its ending. A death no one else even knows about. When it happened, I was broken apart by the complete irrationality of it all. My fear of Nero disappeared, and more than anything else, I hated him. Can't accept it, no matter what the reason, I can't accept it. I grit my teeth. Icky, there's no reason for them. That's just a game. That's why it's ridiculous. It's just a game to you all. Please don't lump Ireland with the rest of them. Nero and this other guy. What do you think human life is? They come up with such games because they think it's nothing. Even I can't understand how they think, nor do I intend to. But if you ask who's at fault here, it's a weaker one, right? In the end, those that are killed are at fault. 
I saw the will of nature that those who are unable to protect themselves are killed. What? Oh. Ashiki? If you talk about it that way, your human species is really strong. The ability to make up for their weakness as a species with other things. That makes them the strongest in a way. Probably. The only ones that can, can kill the greatest creature of the world are you humans. But even though they are strong as a species, they are weak as individuals. They can't live without sacrificing the lives of those not of their race. Which is the ultimate evil, is it not? It doesn't matter if they have intelligence or not. You guys, everything is fair game for food, is it not? So, the ones doing the killings are always right. If there is a sin, then it is you guys not being able to protect yourself under that rule. That, that's just the argument of the strong. Humans aren't as strong like you all. Because we can't protect ourselves fully, that's why we have to live together, help each other. I don't know what to do. Somebody like you guys came in and... That's true. That's your defense mechanism. Since you can't protect yourself, when those kinds of species enter your group, you guys make rules to ensure you are unable to enter. Yes, it's just like you say, Shiki. So usually, this dance case doesn't happen. I mean, know it, but the human race is really strong. You have erected a defense mechanism against those races which far exceed yours. If it was functioning properly, the city would not have had a vampire these last eight years. Defense mechanism? Yes. The reason vampires hide the bodies of the victims and stay out of sight isn't because they don't want to be known by you to humans. To protect their own lives. They conceal their identity and expand their territory. They don't want it to be known that vampires exist at all. If they move freely about, the defense mechanism would arrive. Well, they probably haven't arrived even though that modern day vampire news is going on because this is an atheist country. My word choice is too unique and I can't really grasp what she's saying. But you can relax, Shiki, even if their avowed enemies are not in this country. I'm here right now. Didn't I say earlier that my purpose was to execute vampires? I don't know why that heavy atmosphere went. Those Aquid instantly becomes cheerful. Yeah, I remember. But. You're a vampire too, right? Why do you side with us humans? I'm not really siding with you humans, but I'm doing it because I don't have anything else to do. He doesn't have anything else to do. I still don't understand that. Doing that does bring the dead apostles after me, but you beat Nero, who was pursuing me, didn't you, Shiki? So, now I can go back to the original plan and defeat my enemy. I can go back to living your normal life now, and you don't have to associate with me anymore. Miles, as if she's happy about something. Yeah, that makes me happy, but, but, 
Are you okay by yourself? Those words float in the back of my head. There's something wrong with me. Feeling guilty about letting her face danger all by herself? There really has to be something wrong with me. Vicky, why are you making that troubled face again? Because I'm troubled. This is something both the city I live in. I said you shouldn't worry. In two or three days, it'll be all over. There won't be any more victims. Now honestly, I don't want to be involved. But I think that line, shouldn't I want actually living in the city? Say that line instead of arguing. Arguing. Can I ask you a question? Enemy you speak of? Is he strong? Well, he should be many times superior than the dead earlier. I haven't met him this time, but he has been latent for 8 years, so maybe he's a class 5 by now. You're saying he's stronger than the dead before? Looks like she was in so much pain from fighting just him, isn't she taking him a little lightly? That's five. I don't get it, but does that mean he's stronger than Nero? Not a chance. Nero was special. If was a pure supreme vampire, that would be difficult to defeat, even with my full power. Compared to him, this enemy is pretty weak. Oh, then there's no way you'll be defeated. I breathe out in relief. Who knows? I viewed this earlier, and he wouldn't be a problem, but now I'm just recovering. The possibility that he has more power is actually high. Suffering? Are you sick or something, Arquid? Yeah, so I have the effects from when you killed me. I don't think I'll be fine for at least a few more days. Ah, that's right. The reason she's weak isn't anyone's fault but mine. Arquid lightly touches her side. Seems the wounds don't heal like usual. I manage the outside, but I can't seem to heal the inside. That wound as well. When she receives to save me. But I'm at a loss for words. That's completely my fault she's in that position. So why? Why doesn't she hold it against me? Why does she just give that instant smile? I need to stop. Until you heal up, you should, should just rest. If you take a day or two off, things won't be that bad, so... It's no good. Thanks to Nero's coming. The enemy knows I'm here. If I rest, that's like telling him I'm weakened. So, you're saying that you're going to keep up going like this? Yes, since I don't know where the enemy slayer is, I have to keep the stranger's blood supply. If I cut that off, it'll force him to come out. Agreed. What if that's tomorrow? Then you'll be killed instead? And then, I want to tell her to stop, but I hold mid-sentence. Like Arquid says, if the enemy sees that weakness, Arquid might be killed. More than anything else, I learned from the past four days. 
I'm witnessing someone to stop halfway once she's decided to do something. No matter how much it hurts. Damn. I'm going to stop. I'll leave her alone. You probably won't even be able to talk like this anymore. Yes, we mad. But she's, she's not even afraid of her own death. That's so. Why does she smile like that? And she doesn't smile like that. She acted more like a real vampire. I wouldn't have to feel like this. What's wrong, Shaky? What are you shaking? Do you need to go to the bathroom? You. Why are you? So damn cute. Why are you so relaxed? Damn it. I don't want to lose her. I don't know what this feeling is. But these past four days are not something I can just forget about. So, part here. With the possibility that she may die tomorrow. Regret for being completely, utterly, unbearably difficult. Give me a break. My eyes are already broken. Then my heart's going to break as well. How good is a vampire? I don't want to be involved in something like that again. I remember the fight with Nero. Just thinking about it since chills down my spine. We have looking one step away from death. Still remains. This is the same. Definitely. The opponent this time isn't normal. There's really no need for me to be involved. Since Arquita is saying she'll handle it, I can rely on her. But even knowing all of that, I can't. Just can't leave her alone. Damn, what the hell is wrong with me? I kicked the ground. I'm angry at myself for not accepting any reasoning or excuses. But what? What's wrong, Shiki? Things are angry like that all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm just angry at my stupidity. Why do you want to say this after all what just happened to me? I feel more mad now than I actually, than I actually say it. Being this stupid. I know if I could see myself in the mirror, I would break it to pieces. Hey, what's wrong, Shiki? I'm not acting normal. Yeah, I'm not. If I was acting normal, I really wouldn't say this. I spit. I really don't want to admit it, but it's already a done deal. Close my mouth. You already confirmed it for me. Oh, I just can't understand it, Shiki. What is it? You keep saying you're going to say something, but what is it? Stupid. Isn't it obvious? Until your body heals, I'll help you. This was a stupid fool tone that Shiki wants to say. Uh, how he looks at me, it was a surprise. As for me, finally saying it, and it calms me down. Shiki, is that for real? I groan. I didn't hear it. Please, say it again. I groan more. No matter how much I regret it, it's done. The instance I form my feeling into words, I can't lie to myself any longer. Hurry. I want to hear those words again. My queen asks softly, looking off in the distance. I try to sound reluctant. I guess it can be helped. My fault that you are weakened now. And I can't leave the monster roaming the streets alone either. I can't rely on you taking care of it by yourself. If you let me, I want to help you. 
That's what I said. Chicky. Aqua's eyes are the Leah light. She grabs my hand and happily shakes it up and down. Well, I may be not that helpful, but it has to be better than nothing. Yeah, if you're helping me, then it's nothing to be afraid of. She keeps shaking my hand up and down. How do I say this? She does seem happy. 